I just wanted to do a real quick review on what I consider probably the most disappointing purchase I've ever made as far as dive gear goes. Uh, I will say that I am a dive instructor. I don't do a whole lot of instructing like some, some people do, but uh, I am familiar with equipment. I've put on a lot of equipment, so uh, if, you don't, if you disagree with what I'm about to say, that's fine. You can disagree, but I'm just going to explain my experience and my opinion of this piece of equipment at least uh, at least this particular one the one that I have right here first disappointment I have is the build quality uh, there's two things that came uh, that I thought was pretty poor on this and that is first is the stitching the stitching was just like this when it came straight out of the box you can see that the, the stitching is loose second thing is over here you can see that uh, there's two straps. There's a strap up here, strap down here. Now this is a short bottle, uh, a short tank. So uh, you'll see that uh, you know on the second strap, it's just barely, barely has any purchase. When I was out in the water using this, it was more than more than once this thing would come loose and the tank would be floating. Uh, totally unacceptable. So that strap, you can see, you can even see the difference between this strap and this strap. On the top strap, it's got a nice buckle puts it on nice and tight. Bottom strap, it's got this janky little, uh, whatever that is, little eye, and, and it's the, the strap's too short to go around the tank, and, and so that comes loose all the time. Uh, yes, you can get a new strap, but you know what? Um, they're supposed to, uh, Dive Rights has a quality, uh, a reputation for quality, so why should I have to alter this gear? Second thing, is uh, it's really fiddly. This is the most fiddly uh, BC I've ever had. You'll notice that it's got these, these, uh, this webbing, and some people may like it, but I don't like it because it is so easy, as you can see, for this thing to get twisted around, and then you're trying to put on the BC. Maybe you've got some other gears, some weights. Uh, same thing on this side. The hose can go around, get, get underneath the 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 strapping there there's a whole lot of different strapping anyway you may like the strapping i hate it it is fiddly 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 and if you are doing skills like in the water uh, in the sea you're taking it off putting it back on i can guarantee you that there's going to be a large percentage of the time when those things get twisted around that you're not going to be able to get this thing back on without another diver helping you uh, the other thing is that it's incredibly, uh, I, I don't know, it pushes you forward in a very weird way. Uh, matter of fact, if you're doing a skill where you're on your knees on the bottom uh, of the sea or you're, you know, you're, you're doing something upright in the water, it is almost impossible to get this thing to sit upright, to, to get your body upright with this thing because it it has all the, I don't know, just the way it, it's balanced and where the air goes, it just pushes your head straight over forward. Totally miserable, particularly doing skills. If you're doing a skill on the bottom, you're, you're always, you know, face into the sand. If you are doing a skill where you're supposed to be upright in the water, again, your face over into the sand. Uh, just hate this thing and uh, yeah so you know uh, I would recommend if if you're looking for a BC you're looking for something space saving uh, you know unless you just like this kind of thing you like the webbing you don't mind it getting all twisted up you don't mind having face forward that's fine now I do know that this was highly recommended by another dive uh, instructor but the, the dive instructor that on the YouTube dive instructor that recommended it is quite heavy. He he probably has a lot of buoyancy on on the front side of his body just by virtue of having all that extra weight because fat does float. And so I imagine for somebody who's very large and has a lot of extra fat that uh, this probably isn't disconcerting. It probably wouldn't push you face into the sand like it does me. But I'm not that. I'm not, I don't have a big belly or anything like that. And so this thing really, really is quite the disappointment. So uh, for whatever it's worth, you can like it, dislike it. Uh, for me, this has been an enormous disappointment. And so you might want to try before you buy on this thing. All right. See you later. Bye.